Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York City, and I asked you, how did I like this? This here is a fun shot that I made of my friend Monty. Again, I'm using tungsten lighting. You'll see this a lot. I actually, in most of my personal work, I use constant lights. When I do my tutorial videos, I'm often using flash because that's what I use commercially, mostly, but also because it's easier to teach with flash than it is with constant and film yourself doing it. <laughs> so here you get to see this. The reason why I point that out is because color is important here. It's nighttime, right? Obviously, it's it's getting near the end of the day. You can see there's lights on behind, but it's not lights in every building, so it's not as dark as you think it is. I'm basically overpowering the light that's out there. It's blue hour, or sometimes they call that like after the sun actually sets, but you can still see, right? I'm not tripping over myself. And I'm setting my camera to tungsten because I'm using a tungsten light. That, that amps the blue. That's how we get so much blue back here yet her skin tone is completely neutral. And this is simply one hard, focusable dado light with barn door. It's basically, she's standing near the edge of the, the balcony. I have a C-stand, heavily sandbagged, <laughs> with the dado light kind of sticking out over the balcony, shining back over her, creating this on her face, creating mystery. We took different shots where she looked towards it, where she looked away from it. I was going for that kind of street lighty look, but you'd, the thing is, sometimes people take things too literally. If you're trying to shoot a street light look and you actually put the light where a street light would be, it's probably not going to look good. So you've got to balance things out, right? What it creates an attractive, interesting image and also has that vibe. So I put the light up high, but I didn't put it up right over her head. So that way we still see the beautiful shape of her face, her lips and so on. And it becomes appealing. You see this person, you want to know what's going on. The contrast of her warm skin with the blue sky works really well, I think. You've got a couple of interesting points of interest with the lights in the background, very soft because I'm pretty wide open. And then because she's wearing a dark outfit, she fades off into darkness at the bottom. So that's pretty much what we got here. Nice and simple, one light. Sometimes that's all you need. You look at the situation, you go, wow, the scene's really beautiful, but my model needs to be pumped up a little bit. Bring in a light. It's easy as that. Let me know if you got this one right in the comments below. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do and ring the bell. You'll get notifications and it helps the channel grow. Check the description if you'd like. I'll put links to the stuff I used here. I also put a link to my Discord server if you want to join up over there and join the conversation. I'll talk to you soon.